The Winston-Salem Open may be underway, but that's not the only tennis action happening in the city. Two women who've enjoyed a great career in their own right want to help kids and even you get into the game. That's why I'm saying good for her. Are we partners again, Jane? Give me five. Let's roll. Getting more rackets in hands. <laughs> trying to introduce tennis from the five-year-old to the whoever you're old. It's part of a drive. Good shot. That's really taken off for Tiffany Noel and Caroline Downs. We have such a passion for tennis, community tennis, giving back. They were about the same age as the kids you see here when they were introduced to the sport. Drop, hit, trap that ball. And doors have opened ever since. I'm from here, went to East Forsyth High School and um, played, I, I think I played number one for East and I'm in the Hall of Fame at East Forsyth High School uh, for tennis. And um, after that went to Howard University, had a very, very good singles and doubles record, had a good season. Played high school tennis in Radford and then I actually stayed in Radford and played for Radford University all four years. They would eventually connect in Winston-Salem. We met about 10 years ago at Miller Park on the public city courts and kind of became fast friends, started playing in some leagues together. And when this opportunity arose, she actually called me up. She said, we have to do this. All right, this is your backhand stock. Tiffany and Caroline recently got a great opportunity to double up on their dream of making tennis more accessible on public courts in the triad. Founding their LLC, Serve First Racket Sports. Got together, did some brainstorming, did some business planning, and here we are. May 1st, we took over programming here at Haynes Park and the public courts of Winston Salem. Last one. They're focused on programming for youth. This is our third summer camp. Uh, this was um, a very good turnout. We have about 30 to 35 kids here. It's been really, really good. And adults. One of our first big pushes out in the community was to do bar leagues. So foam ball tennis at the different breweries to introduce people who might not show up to a tennis court how to play. We want Haynes Park Joe White Tennis Center to become the hub of tennis, obviously, you know, in Winston-Salem, but also, you know, have a statewide name and for people to be comfortable coming here. An investment they believe will create new possibilities for up and comers. Oh gosh, if we can just get two or three to college for free. And our community. The city's been great to us. Uh, the people have been great to us. And so we're really happy to be here. Your turn. <laughs> and you can tell they were having a ball out there. They really were. Sir First wants to host junior tournaments before the year ends and has already formed partnerships with local schools. The fall season will start the first week in September, so you still have an opportunity to learn about their programs for youth as well as adults. And all you have to do is visit SirFirstRacketSports.com.